Hi, I'm Johnny Stafford, media teacher here at Hoover High School. The films you're about to see were created by students. Um, they were storyboarded, they were screenwritten, they were acted, they were shot and edited by Hoover High School students. Um, I think they came out awesome. I think you're going to enjoy watching them. Thanks. Um, excuse me, sir? What do you want? I had something awful, terrible happen to me. Well, what do you want? Well, I got something lost or stolen. Well, which one was it? Stolen or lost? Stolen, sir. How can you be so sure? Well, Mr. Smith, I don't have time for this. I don't mean to be rude, but can you just help me find it? Of course I can help you find it. Do you have anything for me to go off of? Off of? I've got this. Is that enough? Yeah. Really? No. You can't solve a case like this on a ring alone. Take me to the place of action. Okay, let's go. Hey you, come here. Okay. See, I know who done it. What are you waiting for? Just tell me who's done it. Remember earlier today, that girl that came out of my office crying right before you came in? Yeah, what does that have to do with my phone? You see. Excuse me. Hey, that's my phone. Wait a minute, is, is this yours? <coughs> yeah, that's my ring. Thank you. 
There's a legend I've heard passed down by multiple seniors about a girl named Veronica. They say she was so curious about what a swirly would feel like that she gave herself one in the bathroom near the snack bar. She decided to do it there because no one ever uses it, but they open it every once in a while to let guests use it. She knew no one was going to be there on Saturday the 14th when she gave herself the swirly. Her hair was caught in the pool of the swirl, and she drowned herself in the toilet. And ever since then, her soul haunts that restroom. Uh, like, what's wrong with you? What kind of stupid story is that? It's not a stupid story, it's true. How do you know it's true if you've never even been in there? I have been in there, it's really creepy. But I go in there to think. Then how do you know it's haunted? Because you'll always know she's there when you hear a toilet flush on its own. <laughs> Maybe it's just a legend. Can't be real. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, like this Saturday is the 14th. Maybe we should go like check it out or something to see if it's really haunted. Sounds good to me. What's up, chicken chalupas? Where's Brittany? Right here. <laughs> Great, now they're all here. Can we go now? Yeah, sure. Add the keys. Wait, where's Thomas? He's too busy looking at himself in the mirror. He'll be here later. This is just a regular bathroom. Well, what did you expect? A haunted house? Well, like, yeah. Guys, I don't think we should be here. Puny, it's okay. It'll only take a, a couple hours. I still don't think we should, but fine. Dude, can we just get started? Fine. Alright. Veronica, are you with us? I had to use the restroom. You guys, she doesn't like loud music. You need to stay quiet. This is like too weird. We gotta get out of here. Let's go through a window. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, there's no window.
sequence. Where's your pass? I, uh, I, I left it in my, uh, please don't give me detention. Okay, we're just gonna need your name and, um, who are you? I am, I'm useless. Stop it. Self-deprecation isn't healthy. <laughs> no, silly. Oh, I thought it was you. Don't we have chemistry together? Wait, are you the girl in the back? By the window? Yeah. Yeah, that's me. I think we have more than just chemistry in class. I think you're right. <laughs> Sir, we got another one. Be careful, it's dangerous out there. This is my gift, my curse. Who am I? I'm Spider- Shh. You're the hall monitor. All right. Bye. Someone hit me with a bat. You don't look like you were hit with a bat? Whatever, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Wait! What? Not possible. Right? It's true, I swear. Whatever, I'm calling the hospital. No! No! You wouldn't be able to do that if you were hurt. No. Oh, what now? Oh, it's just my friend Thomas. These They're the ones who are annoying me. Wait, what's that in your hands? Oh, this is just my bat. I brought to school today to hit Jason over the head with it because he was being a jerk yesterday. Have you hit him yet? Yeah, just a few minutes ago. A plastic bat? You were hit by a plastic bat? You are the stupidest person I've ever met! I thought it was kind of funny that it didn't hurt. Well, then what was that whole deal with not being able to go to the hospital? Oh, God. What's he going on about that thing where every time he goes to the hospital, he has explosive diarrhea? It's true! It was just the flu, you idiot. I'm so done with this. You people have ruined my day. Did you like see this? We should totally like do this. It'd be super fun. That could be fun and stuff. I kind of wanted to read Edgar Allan Poe, but I mean, I guess. Awesome. It's a plan. All right. Whatever. This should be fun. You know, Rod, if those three dumb girls think that they can be off people and ruin my life, then I'll ruin theirs. First, I'll tell Tara that their practice is on the wrong days. Hey, you're Tara, right? Yeah, that's me. Why? What do you want? Uh, Chelsea wanted me to tell you that practice is on Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday, instead of, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. She wanted me to tell you because she got busy or something. Oh, thanks, I, I guess. Bye-bye! Where's Tara? That's so not like her to not show up. She's not even thinking of it. How are we supposed to get a hold of her? Ya no puedo. Ya no lo hacen ustedes que me entreguen bien. Second, I'll steal all of Chelsea's books. Then she won't be able to do her homework. She'll fail all her classes and won't be eligible for the talent show. Thirdly and finally, I'll learn Maria's deepest secrets. And tell her Chelsea told me them. No, 
don't want her to spread like rumors or anything. She what? What do you mean it's all my fault? You guys were the ones who weren't showing up for practice. We specifically told you that we had practice every day. Yeah, it's like your fault. The show's in like three days. Um, excuse me, who are you getting mad at, little Miss Gossip? Gossip? What time do I have to gossip when my grades are in sham? This is getting us nowhere. You're completely right, this is getting us nowhere. We should leave grades and arguments and gossip in the past. We need to get ready for the talent show. Whatever. I mean, I guess. This is bad. No matter what I try to do, they keep on trying to do this thing. I have to go to plan B. This is what you get. From the practice dates to the lights in there just now, it was, it was all me. But why? Why? What do you guys mean? Tara, in grade school, you punched me and laughed. <laughs> Chelsea, in middle school, you tripped me and knocked on my books. And when I fell, you just laughed at me. Maria, this freshman year, you asked if you caught me off my work, and I said no. And so you just cut off all my hair. <laughs> I, like, don't remember that at all. I don't recall. I don't remember that either. You guys do not remember it, but I do. And it's been haunting me every single day since then. Well, Johnny, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't remember doing that to you. I'm sorry. I guess I'm sorry too, Johnny. I mean, sorry, I guess. Okay, I'm sorry. Can we just put all this behind us then? Yeah, yeah, sure. Friends? Yeah. Can we hug it out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My great uncle is calling. My fish is drowning. I must leave. Um, bye, guys. Okay, bye. Seriously? Her fish is drowning. Yeah. Gentlemen. <laughs> Maddie! Maddie! Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am the Mr. Suppressor, and you two are. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh it's what? Right. <laughs> You're not going to get away with this. Oh my gosh, that hurt. Now I suppose you're wondering why I brought you here today in my establishment. No. Just let us go, what do you want? You see, when I was the, but a little, little baby, I was born with this deep, gravelly, and sensual voice. Now, my parents were superheroes at the time. Just let us go, we don't care. Yeah. I just want to go home. Well, perhaps if I told it to you in song, then no. maybe... No, we Please. don't. We don't care. No, I hate songs. Please, no. All my life... No! I just want to go home and eat mac and cheese! Tried. I won't lose a chance <laughs> like this. For now I finally win. 
After you hear the tale of Salda Suppressor. <laughs> anyway, now that that's all said and done, I think it's Wait, time to pee the last chance I need. I will not let you escape me with your pain. My past shall be fixed and I shall be free. I'll remember your friendly face. I can't lie. I Wait, Sal! What? Holy sh <sighs> I knew it was a bad idea to hire you off the Craigslist.